Hello, I'm Shane Murray, owner and founder of Orange Hitches NZ. Today we'd like to talk to you about our log splitter, the Alias 2W, which is a two-way log splitter. So obviously plugs into the back of the tractor. Uh, we ideally need a minimum of 25 litres per minute. Uh, this tractor has 50 litres per minute, so it's ideal. Um, comes with the swage hoses where you snap it into the back of the tractor, runs through the Beerco valving, has a two-inch shaft Beerco ram, and uh, it cuts wood on the forward stroke and the back stroke, so it's pretty quick. Comes standard with the, the two-way splitter head. This head, this head here. Uh, today we've got the four-way head on it. To change the head, it's just a matter of undoing those two bolts and it slides off and slides the other one on. Uh, we have angled anvils, so as the wood splits, it helps it break away um, and eases in the cutting has a leg on the back to stand up on so you can get it up at a good operating height. Uh, if you want to, if you can rest it on a leg if you want to, you don't have to, you can just have it hanging on the hydraulics. Most tractors now have hydraulic management at the back of the tractor so you can drop the whole table down to roll big logs onto and then lift it up again so you don't have to bend your back. But it's good also to be able to lift it up to get a, a good height so you're not bending over at all. Some of the different features we have, we have an umbrella so you can get out of the, out of the sun or out of the rain. Uh, on our last latest model, we also have a, uh, I was going to say tinny holder, but we'll call it a drink bottle holder because it wouldn't be right to be using alcohol when running a log splitter. So you can keep your Coke can there and out of the sun. Uh, comes with three point linkage. It's a uh, multi fit Cat 1 or Cat 2. We find that 40 horsepower up has about the right, right flow rating. Uh, this tractor being 100 horses is absolutely ideal. Uh, flow is limited through the valve, so you can't really put too much fluid through it. So let's start up and we'll give it a run and we'll show you how it works. So the valve's really simple. All operated from here, you can see it's quite fast. It has about a six second cycle time. This is some pear wood from our pear orchard. Uh, it was cut last season, so it's pretty dry and knotty. Pretty effortless load, it'll rip through that, no worries. So as you can see the head has to ride up a little bit just so it doesn't wedge under here and uh, when you get into the sink of it obviously you're running backwards and forwards and it's a really quick bit of gear. So that's the Alias 2 log splitter as you can see it's a handy bit of gear. Uh, saves having a, another motor and pump when you've got the perfect hydraulic pump in your tractor uh, with better flow than any little uh, auxiliary engine would do. Just a couple of things on maintenance. Uh, there's two grease points for the ram that's hidden inside the main frame. So on this side here, there's a, there's a hole cut in the side, so just line the piston up in the right place. The piston slides back as it falls in here. You line it up in the right place and you can reach through with a grease gun and grease that one. And then we'll put a nice little right angle nipple on the end here to do the other end. And the piston slides backwards and forwards in this 150 box. So every now and again you need to reach in there, it's a bit messy but with a bit of grease and just smear it around in there. It has plastic sleeves in there that it runs on to keep everything uh, well lubricated and sliding backs and forwards. There's also a protector sleeve in here so timber can't drop down into here and get, in, get inside the, the box. And on this side if it does fall in, then we'll plug the end of the piston so the piston just pushes the timber out and spills it on the ground. Great bit of kit, really need one to get your firewood ready for this season. Uh, down below you'll see an email address, phone number, feel free to give me a talk if you'd like a demo or uh, just any questions please give me a call, message or email. Thanks for watching the video.